a brand new feature has dropped in Tinkerkid. I'm going to show it to you, so let's get cracking. This is Tinkercad.com. It is a fantastic place to learn 3D design. It does not require an install. If you get there, I simply recommend sign in with Google. Tinkercad projects are stored to the cloud. As you can see, I've got a ton of them, and there is no such thing as an upgraded version. Tinkercad has one version. All the features are included. Now, there is a brand new feature. I'm going to show you real quickly. If we click up here on the gear, we have now got a version history. That means you can check out the 63 different versions of this file and back up to any one of them that you wanted to use. I'm going to hit cancel on this right now. I'm going to show you that my former strategy, as you can see all of these fidget stars I was playing with, was to simply click up here and make a duplicate so that I could always get back to whatever I was working on. I'm going to scroll down. Let's find a project to fiddle with. I'm going to use this one. It was a lazy Susan. Once again, click the properties. Let's check version history. Underneath that, there were 163 attempts. Just for giggles, I'm going to back up to number 159. Let's see how this works. So check it out. This is restored 159 version. And are you ready for this? We don't lose the other version. How cool is that? If we hit tinker this, it opens up the project, and this was my idea for a lazy Susan. I was having a lot of fun with this, but I have not finished it, of course. Make sure you stay tuned, because there likely will be a tutorial. Once again, we can click back here to the Tinkercad workspace, and I do want to highlight both versions are saved. This is going to be such a fantastic tool for backing up as you're creating a project. Let's see what happens with this one if we check version history. It does not have any yet because I did not make any changes. So there you have it, friends. Simple steps to use the brand new Tinkercad versioning. I do want to highlight again, I love that when you do back up to a version, it does it in a new file. So that means you can always go back to the original project and test other versions as you try and build your project the way you want. As I wrap up, a quick shout out to everybody that's chosen YouTube membership. Always appreciate the support. And don't forget one of my favorite perks is that you get access to videos early. I also want to say thank you to everybody that supported me via Patreon. And love how that group is growing make sure you check the bit.ly up above or the link in the description for more information finally friends i want to thank you for watching don't forget every time you hit that like button share a video add a comment down below or smash subscribe you're helping hl mod tech get just a little bit bigger which absolutely makes my day friends have a glorious day and keep tinkering